want to focus on the biggest killer in America this morning. Dr. David Winter joining us as he does on every Thursday to address this topic. And Dr. Winter, I want to get right to it. What is the leading cause of death in our country today? Yeah, to show the leading cause of death in this country, and for that matter, worldwide, is heart disease. We're talking about heart attacks. We're talking about heart failure. You're more likely to die of that than cancer, Alzheimer's, dementia, or any other illness. We've made some advances in the treatment of heart disease, but the risk factors keep going up and they're beating them right now. And we're still the number one cause of death in this country. Mm. What are those main risk factors for this killer? Well, your family has something to do with it. If there's heart attacks in your family, then you are at increased risk. But one of the bigger risk factors right now in growing is obesity. That's a problem in this country. Also, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, smoking, and lack of exercise. All those things put you at risk for heart disease. Yeah, and I know February is American Heart Month, so a lot more folks are paying attention to what's happening. I know the American Heart Association is doing a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, haven't there been some major breakthroughs in the treatment and prevention of heart disease over the past several years? Yeah, there have been a lot of improvements. We have great medications out, the statin drugs and the new PCSK9 inhibitors. Those lower cholesterol significantly. We've got drugs to treat heart failure much better than they did 10 years ago. Those work well. We don't do as many heart operations now for blocked arteries because these stents that are gone through your wrist or through your groin can open up a blocked artery. Heart surgery is still available, and it's much safer and much more effective than it was before. So we have a lot of things that we're doing to treat it. But prevention, that's where we're not doing as good a job. Okay, and that's what I want to get to. So what can people do themselves to prevent the need for even medications, procedures, or even surgery to treat heart disease? Yeah, here's three things we can all do. Have a healthy diet and keep a good weight. Don't become obese if you do get that back down. Don't smoke. You know, you think smokers are going to die of lung cancer. They're more likely to die of a heart attack, though, than lung cancer. And then exercise. We can all do those three things. And then know that your cholesterol, your blood sugar, and your blood pressure are important. Get those checked periodically and get those controlled, and that will reduce those risk factors. So all those things can make a difference, Tashara. Okay, and finally, what are the warning signs of heart disease? What should folks be looking out to? And when should you reach out to someone to seek some medical attention? Yeah, the classic symptom of an impending heart attack is this pressure squeezing sensation that's in your chest, maybe your neck, maybe your arm, comes on with activity, goes away with rest. That's a sign of a blocked artery. That's pretty common in men. Women have that also, but women can also have funky kind of chest pain. So any chest pain in a woman should be evaluated. And with heart failure, your legs swell up and you get shorter breath as fluid gets in your lungs. Usually it's worse when you lie down, you get to where you have to prop yourself up at night. Any of these symptoms should cause you to seek medical attention. And you're just dropping so many nuggets here today, Dr. Winter. Thank you so much for joining us. Very, very good information this midday. Thank you, Tashara. Good Absolutely. to be with you. Thank you. Always.